Well, it's another very warm welcome back to all of my loyal YouTube subscribers and of course to any first time visitors who are also joining me for their very first look at my TV channel. Welcome aboard and I hope you find something in here to interest you when it comes to older vintage dirt bikes. Now in my next featured video we are going to take a short break from our usual off-road vintage motocross bikes that we normally look at to check out a very special trials bike I spotted earlier in the year. So I do hope you'll stick around as we take a look at Paul Balsili's Balco 500 Triumph trials bike. Now Paul Balsili at uh, Balco Motorcycles builds all manner of classic scrambles and trials machines and I've already featured a few of Paul's special projects here on my channel. So starting with this particular bike's chassis which is a superbly constructed BSA Otter frame and basically this is a frame that's done away with the oil storage tank and now houses the motor's engine oil in the frame tubes and the chassis also has no bottom cradle section underneath the engine which is uh, then used as a stressed member to save uh, weight. Now originally back in the day these frames would have been painted in gloss black although Paul has gone the extra mile here and had his chassis chrome plated. This handcrafted alloy fuel tank is a product of Holt Works fabrications. Now these gorgeous handmade tanks are made from 2mm alloy and are all constructed by Tony at the Holt Works factory in Mayland, Essex in the UK. Now the engine is a 500cc Triumph Twin which was originally built by Julian Wigg. Now this engine uses Kawasaki Z1 pistons although further machining is required on the pistons to fit the Triumph motor and once this work is completed it reduces the engine's cc's from 500 to 460 cc. Again the barrels on this Triumph twin engine are rear alloy barrels as opposed to the original Triumph uh, steel units. Now inside the motor all excess metal has been removed to reduce the overall weight of the uh, power plant and almost all of the timing gears have been drilled to remove excess metal and of course thereby reducing the final weight of the finished bike. Although with the alloy cylinder barrels and other non-essential weights removed this is still a much lighter uh, engine than it would have been with an original 500 Triumph twin motor. But one of the other specifications of this Triumph motor is that it has a wide ratio Triumph gearbox fitted. Uh, these were originally used of course by the British Army uh, back in the day although these were very good gearboxes for these Triumph twins and in terms of being used in an off-road trials bike they were uh, just the job for this uh, British made twin. The original ignition system as you would expect has also been changed and the motor now has an Electrex CDI ignition unit fitted and you can see here that the original Triumph part of the casing has been machined away once again to save excess weight. Now this Triumph engine again has a unique configuration of exhaust header pipes which have been rooted and tucked away as tight as possible to reduce the bike's overall profile. Now the remainder of the exhaust system was also made by Paul and this very bespoke layout that Paul has gone for on his Triumph looks for all the world that it was designed to fit this Balco special like a glove. Now the bike's front forks which initially look like a pair of Italian Serianis but are actually in fact called metal profiles which were back in the day made by Greaves. 
Now the front and rear brake hubs have also been taken from a 200cc Triumph uh, Tiger Cub. The rear shocks are a pair of British made rock shocks and Paul told me that he always goes for rock shocks on his uh, machines because they are excellent quality, fully rebuildable and parts are easily accessible. But for me personally there's definitely something about an old classic scrambles or trials bike that's built from lovely shaped polished alloy or steel and uh, also having this lovely Triumph twin motor at the, as the power source for me is just the icing on the cake. But by now you've no doubt guessed that these clips were grabbed at the 2020 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show when Paul was showcasing this bike and a couple of his other uh, Balco creations. Although these Balco off-roaders are not mass-produced and when you do buy a Balco race bike you know you're getting into a very unique and exclusive club and that you will be enjoying a product that you can rest assured not everyone at your next trial or scramble event will have in the race paddock. But nevertheless Paul did tell me that this bike is for sale and if you think you might be interested in owning this particular machine I'll leave Paul's contact number in the video description at the bottom of this page. But you can't help but notice that this lovely uh, machine certainly has a nice selection of parts uh, on it with the Otter chassis, uh, that twin 460cc Triumph motor with its rear alloy barrels and wide ratio gearbox and of course not forgetting that custom made Holt Works alloy fuel tank and Paul's own excellently hand stitched exhaust system which all goes into making this a very unique and exclusive trials machine. But I normally don't feature trials bikes here on my channel although occasionally I do come across special projects such as this from Paul Balsili and they are most certainly worth a look and a few minutes exposure to my classic dirt bike TV viewers. But if you'd like to check out some of the other creations by Paul just search Balco BSE Victor Matisse or even Balco 500 Matisse Triumph on YouTube to see more of Paul's off-road projects. So there you have it, another unique trials machine built by Paul Balsili of Balco Motorcycles. Now there are many off-road classic dirt bike machines waiting to be aired here on the Classic Dirt Bike TV so I do hope you will continue to subscribe if you like what you see here. This video was brought to you in association with Wealth Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road, sports and leisure wear. Just visit their online website at wealthsport.com for more details.